In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can create your own screen recorded videos using some free Microsoft tools. We're going to use the Microsoft Encoder for recording our screen captures and we're going to use Windows Movie Maker to edit them should we need to edit them. And usually you will want to edit out any mistakes, maybe add background music or just to put intro slides on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is download the encoder. So I've given you a link to that in the resources document. So we'll just go there at the download center and then pick your language here and download. Now, system requirements down here says that system requirement says that not supported under Windows 7. However, it is. I'm using Windows 7. So don't need to worry about that. Okay, so what happens now is it downloads the encoder down here or wherever your downloads are. So what you want to do once it's downloaded is run it. I'm using Chrome, so I just use open here. So we're going to go through the install process. Next. Agree to the terms. You should read through Make sure you agree with them. Click Next. This is where it's going to install it. Click Next. Click Install. And then this will take a few minutes for it to run through its install process. Okay, so let's continue in here. We'll just wait for this whole thing to finish. Okay, then we'll click finish here. Now if for some reason you find that it isn't working properly for you, although I don't know why that would be since it is working in my installation of Windows 7, you can right click on the shortcut for Windows Media Encoder, go to properties and then go to compatibility. Then you can run this in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. So that's only if you have an issue with it and then you can apply that. Okay, now the next thing we're going to need is Windows Movie Maker. If you don't already have Windows Live Movie Maker installed on your computer, you can get that through Windows Live Essentials. So I've given you a link to this as well in the resources document. So all you have to do is click download. And then once it's downloaded, just open it up. And this will run the Windows Essentials. Let's wait for it to come up. So you can install all of Windows Essentials or you can choose the programs you want to install. Now you see that on my computer I already have Photo Gallery and Movie Maker installed, but it will update them to the current version. I can also install any of these here that I want. Okay, so I'm going to uncheck these. And I will update to the latest version of Window Movie Maker just so we're all on the same page here. Okay, so we're going to wait for this to update and then everything will be installed. Okay, so now it is installed Movie Maker for me and whatever else I had there. So at this point I would have to restart my computer to get everything done properly. I'm going to restart later. I'll do that in a minute. Now what we can do is we can open up the encoder. I'm just going to open it up to show you that it's been installed. So in your start menu you will see a folder for Windows Media. And in there you'll see Windows Media Encoder. Okay, So here it is opening here. We'll just open it up to verify that it is installed and ready to go and as you can see now we're all installed. Okay so here you see an expanded view of the shortcut to the Windows Media Encoder. So you have Windows Media Encoder which is what's running behind here. So this is the Windows Media Encoder and then we have utilities. 
Now in here we have Windows Media Encoder Script. We have Windows Media File Editor, Profile Editor, and Stream Editor. Now the File Editor here, this is like a dumbed down version of the Windows Movie Maker. Extremely dumbed down. So we're not going to use any of these utilities, but they are here. I just want to make you aware that those are there. Okay, and this is the main window for the media encoder. This is what was behind the screen that just popped up that we got to choose what we were going to do. Okay, so this is where you can do a couple of things on here, and we're going to get to that a little bit later. Okay, and here's the other part of the equation. This is the Windows Movie Maker we just installed. So we're going to use this to edit our recordings when we're all done. Okay, so that is the end of this video. We've now installed everything. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you do a screen recording.